Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching this bulletin with me, Ratnaka. The news in detail. After two weeks along the Diwali vacations, Nagpur bench of the Bombay High Court will resume limited physical hearing and virtual hearing from Monday, November 23rd. With Justice Sunil Shukre as a senior administrative judge, the present setting assignment will be in place till November 38th. The High Court has also posted two full bench hearings this week in which lawyers have been asked to appear physically. Besides, some references made by single judge benches to the division bench will also be heard in a physical manner. Apart from matters listed for physical hearing for the remaining days and matters, hearing will be conducted only through the medium of video conferencing. Social distancing and other COVID-19 guidelines will be strictly enforced and only one advocate per matter or senior advocate engaged to argue the matter and their registered clerk will be permitted inside the court building. Akhil Kunbi Samaj Nagpur, like every year this year, two celebrated Adiwari Saira Sammelan. About 500 members of the community attended the event. The program began with a kirtan by Akash Chale, which enlightened and mesmerizing everyone. Purushottam Ji, Shahani Patel, President of the Samaj, made the introductory remark and conveyed Diwari wishes to everyone, followed by speech of Dr. Babun Rao Taiwade, Senior Leader of the Community and President of National Other Backward Classes Federation. He spoke an importance of a unity among the community to fight against any kind of injustice. Chief Justice Sunil Kedar, Maharashtra Dairy Development and Sports and Youth Welfare Minister conveyed his best wishes for Diwari Festival and appreciated the efforts of unity by the Kunmi community leaders. He urged the Kunmi community people to keep their pretty differences aside and contribute to the development of the Kunmi community. The World Health Organization has taken initiative to ensure that the world needs to be free from tuberculosis. In this concern, the National Tuberculosis Prevalence Survey Program has been launched in Nagpur on the initiative of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India, WHO and Indian Council of Life Science. On behalf of City Tuberculosis Control Society of NMC surveys will be conducted in various areas of the city like Nandanwan, Darshan Colony, Sudh Bhavananagar, Rajendranagar, KDK College Road, Vathoda, Nari and Pandewadi slums. Dr. Shilpa Jichkar, City Tuberculosis Officer said that for this survey, a team comprising Dr. Rishikesh Andhalkar, Team Leader of National Council of Medical Sciences and X-ray Assistants, a laboratory assistant, health workers, and a mobile TB vehicle have been provided. This is being carried out under the guidance of the City Tuberculosis Officer of the Nagpur Municipal Corporation. The city of Nagpur has produced many quality players who have made a name for themselves nationally and internationally. Players from Nagpur have excelled in various sports like cricket, badminton, chess, boxing, bodybuilding, swimming, athletics and cycling. These players who have achieved success on a large scale are ideals for many who initially lived in difficult conditions in the city but went on to earn laurels for the country and showcase their talent on the field. As far as the youth of the city are concerned, they have immense potential. So if they get the right platform, more people will be inspired to uplift the name of the country on the international arena. A brainchild of Union Minister Garkari, the Kharaskar Krida Mahotsav has over the year provided a platform for many emerging players from the city and its vicinity. Senior BJP leader and former Nagpur district guardian minister and Maharashtra energy minister Chandrasekhar Bhavan Kule along with a large number of BJP workers on Monday burned electricity bill here in order to protest against the government not providing relief to consumers complaining of inflated power bills during lockdown. Maharashtra energy minister Nitin Raut earlier had hinted at a major relief to the consumers having inflated electricity bills. However, the minister later U-turned saying that the government would not be able to provide any relaxation in the inflated electricity bills as the power companies were making huge losses and that consumers would have to make full payment of the bills. Following that, the BJP had announced to stage electricity bills burning protests all over the state to wake up the government. As part of the BJP's Statewide protest against the government's decision bound to burn electricity bills in Nagpur. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnagar says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family.